For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Game Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video uh, is a, a small and short video that I'm making um, because I had lots of questions like uh, why is NVIDIA's, NVIDIA's VRAM frequency way higher than AMD's cards, than on AMD's cards, but the performance is the same. And people ask this question like several times and today like half an hour ago I had exactly the same question so I thought why not make a small video about it. So basically we need to understand two things at first. So we have the, the VRAM true frequency, which is what AMD presents. And then we have the effective frequency or the effective clock, which is what Nvidia presents. As for the effective clock, it has to do with, uh, with the type of the VRAM. So if the VRAM is dual rate, DDR, or if it is uh, QDR, so Quad Data Rate. In this case, the GDDR6, for example, in the latest cards, or even the GDDR5 are both, besides uh, even with that name, the GDDR, they are actually Quad Rate. So you have to put the real frequency times 4 to make the actual effective clock. So imagine if a card has like 2000, 2000 megahertz on the AMD side, of course, 2000 megahertz, okay? That means that the effective clock is 2000 megahertz versus four. So the effective clock, if you want to compare to NVIDIA, the effective clock is 8000 megahertz. And the same applies to NVIDIA cards. So if you actually have an NVIDIA card with, let's say, they, all, they always present the effective clocks due to marketing. It is a marketing thing. So people actually go for the VRAM frequency and wow, so much VRAM frequency. This card must be crazy fast. And it's just marketing bullshit, as we know. So, so basically, if you want to measure the real frequency of uh, uh, an NVIDIA's card VRAM, then you just go to the VRAM. If you, if it has like GDDR5 or GDDR5X or even GDDR6, uh, then just divide the value of the effective clock by four. So, if it has 8,000, it will have like 2,000, and so on, so on, so on. That's how it works. Basically, this is it, just a marketing tool. You have to put, to put both cards with the true frequency or both cards with effective frequency if you want to, uh, to have uh, apples, apples comparison instead of apples to, orange, to oranges comparison. So yeah. So concluding the conclusion, basically that's it. Uh, Nvidia's VRAM clocks aren't that high. Uh, it's just a difference of measurement. One shows true frequency, another shows effective frequency, okay? So, yep, NVIDIA cards do not have higher frequency, just a different measure. Meant. <laughs> and that's all for today's video, guys. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video. And don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section because that really matters a lot. And helps a lot. Let me know what you think about these marketing tools. <laughs> See you in the next one.